Does Jalen Ramsey owe everyone an apology? Because he was very critical in that GQ article yes, before the season. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He opened his mouth and, and deposited a bunch of checks his teammates couldn't cash. And that's what I said at the time. I think that Jalen Ramsey is a stud. I think that Jalen Ramsey is somebody that's a special talent. Um, and I'm not trying to, you know, dismiss his talents by any stretch of the imagination. Although I did not like seeing Derrick Henry outrun him down that right sideline. Yes, they blew right past him and he couldn't catch him. But I think it was more about effort and want mm -hmm. to than anything else. Here's what I would tell you about Jalen Ramsey. And I would tell you about all the Jalen Ramseys of the world. I don't like it when they open their mouth because they can't speak for the other 10 guys they are on the field with. If you are speaking for yourself, I'd have no issue with Jalen Ramsey if he were a boxer. I'd have no interest, uh, no issue with Jalen Ramsey if he was a tennis player. If he were a basketball player, I would have significantly less of a problem because even though you need your teammates to help you, you can do a lot by yourself as a basketball player. You cannot you can't throw the football for Blake Borders. You can't stay healthy for Leonard Fournette. You can't run for him either. You can't catch for other guys. <laughs> And for him to talk as much junk as he talked about other guys and then to have this kind of year as a team, it brought the spotlight on Jacksonville that they clearly ain't ready for. And, oh, by the way, the players quit on that coach. And mm -hmm. anything in and, and this thought about saving his job, as far as I'm concerned, I'd get rid of Tom Coughlin, too, just because Tom Coughlin talked about how this man that, was safe. He's got no business being safe. That, that Derrick Henry run was one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen for a defense in the NFL. That looked like a junior high school team or a high school team being clowned. Like, I mean, they did not want to tackle him. It was embarrassing. A lot of times people say, oh, the defense got embarrassed. But you're like, no, look, a guy made a great play. You could see how it could happen. But from the very beginning of the run, look at this. What, what are you kidding? That's a professional football team? But not only that, guys. That was the fierce, dominant, kind of almost, you think, maybe generational <laughs> defense a year ago? Look, it's not Jalen Ramsey's fault that they signed Blake Bortles and crippled the team in so doing. But he's on that defense, and every one of those guys is accountable to themselves and to each other and to the fans for that kind of play. That was disgraceful. Yeah, this is largely the same football team from a year ago, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, there's a lot of, play, there's a lot of examples in that clip that you just showed on the 90-yard yard touchdown run. At the point of attack, did you, did you see some of the defensive linemen there literally get locked up and basically to stand there, legs go dead and not even move? Hmm. What you're doing right there, that looks like what you do in practice when you're giving the other team a look and you're supposed to not really resist them and put up much of a fight so they can kind of get their reps done. That's what that looked like. Like you were playing scout team for the Tennessee Titans offense. And then you have guys going down here. Look, Derrick Henry is six foot, 5,000, 5,000. The guy's a giant. You don't sit there and let him just jab you in the face with stiff arms. Why was nobody shooting at his legs, trying to get him out of bounds? Look, I, I know quit when I see it. And don't tell me, you know, I, I don't like speaking for another man's heart. I don't like speaking for another man's resilience and his fortitude because it's an intangible thing. And you don't really know what another guy's feeling. But I've been between the white lines at the professional level, and I played against Hall of Fame all-pro running backs, and I played with all-pro Hall of Fame defensive backs and defenders. And those guys quit yesterday. They flat out Quit. You know why you know they quit? Because when the game was, like, kind of out of reach, all of a sudden they wanted to, like, kind of stand up and kind of be firm when Derrick Henry may have gone for his fifth touchdown. You notice how all of a sudden then they kind of perked up a little bit and then they wanted mm -hmm. to start chirping and yapping? That's because that's called selective. That's selective competitiveness. That means the rest of the – for the first three quarters of that game – you didn't want to compete. And then all of a sudden you did want to because then you didn't want to, what, get embarrassed by the fifth touchdown? Mm -hmm. And then you wanted to start fly – see, Jalen – and I'll tell you what, the people have been on me about Jalen since, since he came out of college because I said I didn't know if a guy that big would be able to deal with some of the diverse weapons at wide receiver in the NFL because it's hard for a long, tall guy to deal with quick, darty wide receivers. And he's proved me wrong. He is a very, very, very good player. One of the best in the NFL that the NFL needs to market and talk about more. But when you do that, like you see on the screen right there, right. and you call other guys trash, mm -hmm. all of a sudden now people don't take you serious. Well, well, they, me, they don't respect you the me, same way. Here it is, and let me get your response to this. Because I remember I once spoke to Prime Time about this. Mm -hmm. Prime Time obviously started at Florida State. And you got a lot of people. Jalen Ramsey clearly was one of those people. Loves primetime. I remember, you know, he was on with us before the draft. Mm -hmm. Loves primetime. 
You got a lot of these young cats that try to be like Prime. And I think here's the thing that they miss. And you can speak to this too, Molly, because of your, you working at the NFL Network before. Prime, people don't realize this. He never talked about his opponent. He talked about himself. People thought they were trying to emulate him. Jalen thought he was trying to emulate him by talking about somebody else and calling them trash. That's not what Prime did. Prime talked about how great he was. Let me... He didn't talk about how whack or trashy other people were. I think Jalen Ramsey is one of the people that got that confused